Okay, guys, just look at this. Look at this. Oh my god. Oh my god, guys, just look at this. Okay, I know you already know what it is. But yeah, Black Soldier Fly Love Me. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so excited. Guys, I don't know why I didn't start doing farming earlier. This is so satisfying. This feels so good. Oh my god. Just look at this, guys. Just look at this. The lovey. They have started to grow. Oh my god. All right, let me calm the excitement down. And I'm going to tell you the story of this black soldier fly lovey for me. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Dr. Daniel here. And I'm very glad and excited to tell you uh, about what I'm going to be doing today. So guys, today I'm telling you guys about the black soldier fly farming. As you guys might already know, I started out a rant against commercial feed some weeks back or probably months back. I'll probably leave that video in the description right here. And guys, I decided I'm going to start growing black soldier fly. Oh my God, it's so bright. I hope you guys can see me. So I decided I'm going to start growing black soldier fly and ta-da! Here we are. Oh my God, guys, just look at this. What I started doing uh, some time back is that I started preparing for this black soldier fly. You guys saw me constructing the love nest and all this kind of stuff and guys were wondering, hey, what are you doing? I think you can see one of the love nests right there in the background. I'm not using it at the moment because um, the pupa that I got were not enough to fill two love nests. So I just decided to utilize one of them, which is right here. It's probably too bright for you guys, but you'll have to bear with this. So I constructed a temporary structure. This is the structure. Very, very temporary. And you might wonder why I decided to construct the structure like this. So guys, the reason I constructed the structure like this is because, like I said, it is temporary. Now, you need to know some things about constructing structures for black soldier fly. The insects or the flies right inside that cage love light. Sunlight is like their weed. Like when they, take, when they get sunlight, they're high. And when they go high, they can reproduce. So they need lots and lots of sunlight. So I decided to do this because I was just testing things out. I wasn't certain if it would work out or if it wouldn't work out. So I needed something very, very cheap that, you know, won't cost me a million dollars just in case something bad happens. So I erected these small pieces of timber and then I used this polythene. I know you guys can see it. This is just polythene. And the reason I use that polythene is because it's clear. Sunlight can go through, but water can't go through because these are insects. You don't want rain hitting them. Of course, down there is space and no rain will go through down. But at the top, I had to make sure I cover them. Now, ideally, if I, you're constructing a bigger house, it's very okay for you to, you know, construct with bricks or whatever or iron sheets or anything on the side. But at the top, you need to make sure the roof is clear. So what people, people usually use is that they use either transparent iron sheets or they use polythene just like I used, and the polythene is way cheaper, just that, of course, it gets spoiled earlier and all that kind of stuff. I'll see what to do when I go on to the bigger scale. Inside here, we have our flies, and these flies, the number has reduced right now because, unfortunately, there was a bottle I was using to spray. You see down here, we have some cotton wool, and that cotton wool, you need to make sure you keep it wet because the flies, all they do is suck. And you need a humid atmosphere inside here. So I would put a spraying gun right down here to make sure that we spray that cotton wool to keep it, you know, wet and moist so that it's humid on the inside. But then someone got that spray gun and went and used it to spray plants, you know, some maybe insecticide that they use for spraying plants. And then they brought it back here. As you guys might know, I work as a doctor, so I'm not here full time. So I had no idea. So when they brought it back and they started using it here, it killed very many of the flies. Uh, and that's why the number is down. But the number is going to be getting back up again. Um, I've been told, you know, a few days back, it was even way less than that. But the number is growing back again. Now you might wonder how I actually got these black soldier flies onto the farm. I actually didn't bring them here as flies. I brought them here as pupa. And you guys know that pupa don't move. You know, they are senile. They are just waiting to come out of their shell. So you will see there's lots of pupa on the floor right inside there. And they are still coming out. You know, they are still popping out, becoming the flies. And what happens is that after some time, the flies lay eggs. And those eggs 
are what are utilized to you know form the maggots the maggots you guys have just seen actually came as eggs yeah so when i got the original package all i had was eggs because they're also immobile and the pupa so the pupa became the flies and the eggs became the maggots so we have some eggs and what we are going to be doing guys is that we're going to be getting these eggs out and then we're going to be putting them in some kind of medium prepare them to hatch and then you know we shall be having our larvae now let's go up and check out on the larvae and you know the larvae that i just showed you guys let's see how it's doing so yeah guys i checked the love nests for all the crevices where the black soldier fly actually laid eggs and i managed to get some oh my god guys i'm so happy now this one i actually dropped it which is such a, a, a bad thing because they left so few eggs and you don't want to lose any so it looks like i lost this one but these others actually do have the eggs so ideally what i do is that i'm going to remove the eggs from here and then i'm going to put them in this plastic basket now different people do it differently but i'm going to put it in this container this plastic container and then after there i'm going to put some feed for the eggs you know when the eggs hatch which should be in like five days time we are going to have uh, those little tiny larvae that you guys saw <laughs> Lovey guys, lovey, lovey, oh my god, lovey. And these things have no disease on them. They are very okay to touch. Um, you might wonder what I'm using to feed them. Now these ones, because these are my breeding stock, I want all of them to grow up perfectly and in perfect condition. I'm using quit bran, maize bran, and some excess garbage that we have around. Now this other package actually has uh, same thing. Quit brand, some maize brand, and guess what? Poop. Pig poop. Yeah. Um, and that stuff they love. And that's what these other two have. But they, they, they love you very okay. You know, they are moving inside here. They are feeding. When you look on the surface, you see nothing. You guys just saw that I just turned this. And already there's nothing on the surface. Yeah? Because this larvae naturally love, love to burrow. You know, they love the darkness. So as soon as you turn them, they're going to burrow downwards, you know. I'll just do it again for you guys. You see? Lots of larvae. Lots and lots, you know, hundreds and thousands of larvae. And they're all on the surface. But within the next few seconds, they're going to be burrowing downwards. So what you're going to do is that you're going to be getting the eggs from here. Put them in this container. And then we're going to put brewer's yeast. Oh, I don't know if it's called brewer's yeast. You guys know like the byproduct of brewing alcohol, brewing beer. I think they use barley. Other people use millet. Any of that stuff. The idea is that it should be fermented. It's better for the eggs when they have just hatched. They love to feed on that. So that's what I'm going to be getting out. That's what I'm going to get. Someone has gone to help me pick it. And then we shall put it here to cover the eggs. So that when they hatch, they already have something to start feeding on. And then they will grow up and they will become our next flock, you know, for reproducing. You guys can see I'm using the plastic jerrycans. Oh my god, these plastic jerrycans, 
They're like a million dollar thing for me. I've used them for like everything. I'm using them for Black Soldier Fly. I've used them for making drinkers. I've used them for making the plastic trays for the fodder. Oh my God, they're like a lifesaver for me. You guys can see, it's probably just a minute or two and we have nothing on the surface. All the larvae have already burrowed downwards. So they love to burrow. So they're going to grow. And then what will happen is that after some time, they will pupate. And when they pupate, I'll put them in the larve cages. That way, after some time, you know, they hatch, they become flies and give us more eggs. And that will be another population of black soldier fly larvae. What I'm trying to do right now is that I'm not feeding them to any chickens. As you guys can see, I don't have any of my chickens around. Of course, I have grandma's chickens, the local chickens, and they will also enjoy this. But for now, I'm not giving them any because I want to grow the population. When my chickens come in, which should be in a short time, um, I want to start feeding them this black soldier fly because it's very rich in proteins. Very, very rich in proteins. I want to stop buying feed as much as possible if i can get down to zero percent that will be perfect so for now i just want to you know guys i just want to grow this stuff cultivate it oh my god i'm so happy i'm so excited guys living on a farm is so cool by the way if you haven't subscribed to the channel please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit that notification bell that way you never miss out on anything and don't forget to smash that like button okay by the way guys just in case you're wondering i wasn't born with this knowledge no I actually went somewhere to do this training and it was at a fee. I have a friend, he's called Martin. I leave his number right in the description. Just in case you know you want to do some of this training, he can train you. Of course, it will be at a fee. He's a very good person. He helped me out to get this black soldier fly larvae. I was hustling and stressing to get them. So if you need them, just hit him up. He will be able to help you. So guys, yeah, that was it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for coming back, for checking out the channel. Um, don't forget to always come back and see you later. Lots of love.